In this video, we'll demonstrate how to connect a USB to serial cable to the iFly GPS. The USB to serial cable is used to output NMEA data to something like an autopilot, an NMEA um, input for fuel flow, or even an EFIS. First, we need the USB to serial cable. Here's your USB end, and here's the DB9 serial pin. This can be purchased on our iFlyGPS.com website. Now I'll insert the USB plug into the iFly and launch the software. Now on the DB9 serial pin, pin 3 is the data output to send out to the autopilot or EFIS or NMEA output. If you're connecting it to an ADSB and wanting to receive input, you'll use pin 2 for the input. Pin 5 is the ground. Now once the unit has been on for a while, usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds for the device to recognize the USB to serial cable. Once that's happened, we'll go ahead and touch the menu button, touch about. Now we'll touch connected devices and we should see in the list an NMEA output controller pop up. Now that the NMEA output controller has appeared in the window, we can simply touch close and now we want to touch menu, setup, NMEA output, and here you'll notice a list where we can choose normal, extended, or custom. In this demonstration we'll select custom. Now you have some selections. You can set the baud rate across the top. So make sure that the baud rate matches what device you're connecting to. That's very important. Then you can touch standard, which is only select the GPRMB, RMC, and GGA sentences. If I touch extended, it'll select everything. For custom, what we'll do is simulate something like a Dynan autopilot connection or something along the lines of a TrueTrack autopilot connection. Typically, like I say, in this scenario, we'll set and assume that the, G, that the autopilot is set for 4800 baud. We want to make sure that the GPRMB, RMC, APB, GGA, sentences are set. This is where I would start with. If this does not get it connected, then in some scenarios you can alternate and remove the APB and put in the BOD sentence. This is a generic setup for an autopilot. Once you've completed it, touch OK. Now, to test your autopilot in your hangar or so forth without going into the air, make sure your autopilot is on and you can go into menu, about, start simulation, and then select yes. Now, in this scenario, if you have a flight plan in the flight plan page and we use the speed, track, and altitude in the demo controls, we should actually be able to make your autopilot turn the plane to achieve the right course. This is a basic demonstration of how to connect to your autopilot or get your NMEA output sending out to a fuel flow computer.